you are going to purchase two separate items when you start out in stamping or three depending on whether you're going to buy insert A, insert B or both inserts. So you're going to purchase the metal stamping tool attachment which is this item here and you're going to purchase A, B or both. A is going to hold your one quarter inch stamps, your one and a half inch stamps, B is going to hold your five sixteenth inch stamps and your three eighths inch stamps. And that's going to cover most of the stamps that we use on a regular basis. So your quarter inch stamps, you're going to actually measure the size of the shank itself. You're not concerned with the size of the letter. So it could be a two millimeter letter, it could be a three millimeter letter, it could be a four millimeter letter. They all may have the exact same shank size. What you want to do is measure the shank itself to make sure it's going to fit into the insert. So here you have your quarter inch. Then we're going to do, let's see, this is going to be the largest one. Half inch, and you can see how nicely it fits. A little bit of room, perfectly fine if there's a little bit of room. And then you have your 5 16 inch. And then you have your 3 8 inch. These also work for round stamps. So here's a round stamp that I have that's going to fit into the one and a half inch slot. Here's another round stamp and that's going to fit into the quarter inch slot. So it works for square or round stamps just so long as the shank size matches one of the measurements on the inserts. So you're going to purchase the metal stamping attachment, either A or B insert or both. So what you're going to do when you get it is you're going to insert the insert into the attachment. You're going to slide it in till it's flush with the bottom and you have it pushed forward. You have this screw here. It's going to hold it onto the arbor ram. This screw here is going to hold the attachment into excuse me, it's going to hold the insert into the attachment and this is the screw that you're going to use to hold your letters. So when you've got that part in there, when you've got the insert in there, I like to hold it down against the table to get it flush. You're going to crank that in fairly tight. You do not want that to move. Okay, then you're going to insert the ram into the attachment. You may have to adjust your bar to the maximum height. So we're going to lower this down in. Make sure you lower in as far as it will go. You want it to touch the insert on the inside. Use the hex wrench that's included and tighten that firmly. This attachment is not meant to create pressure from side to side. You want direct force all the way down. Therefore, you need to have these screws tight so you can get the maximum amount of force, downward force. If you have any wobble anywhere, that's going to take the force from a downward force and apply it to one side or the other. You're not going to get a good stamping that way. Okay, so it's really just a matter of inserting your letters into the slot, which is going to receive them, and use the set screw just to finger tighten it enough, okay, so that it doesn't wobble. Now, if you're getting wobble in the ram, like I'm getting wobble in the ram, you need to tighten up one or both of the screws here, one or both of the screws here. So you do not get any wobble. A wobble is again going to take the direct force from downward to either side to side or front to back and you're not going to get a firm enough impression. Okay, so I've prepared this uh, spoon bowl here 
and you want to be able to get a spoon bowl as flat as you can because the waves in it are going to interfere with um, a nice straight impression. So one of the things that we offer is this stamp straight tape from Impress Art and this is a guide to help you make your stamps even and let me grab a scissor I'm just going to cut a piece and this is going to be the bottom of the letters so I'm placing it here I'm going to be printing out the word piece so I'm grabbing a sharpie marker and I'm going to make lines one line for each letter so piece is P-E-A-C-E. -E. A would be your middle letter. So I like to go out from the center if I can. This is going to be my A. And the E and the P, the C and the E. Okay, that's going to allow me to know right where I need to mark each of these letters. Okay, I've gone ahead and put the P in. Now I have some um, padding on my um, base plate here, some Velcro on my base plate, and it's not going to give me a firm enough surface to press up against, so I've got this little piece of aluminum here that's going to allow me to have a firm surface. If you also are using your Arbor Press for bending and you have uh, Velcro there that's interfering, you might want to put some um, strip of metal or something firm up against there so you have something firm to press up against. Okay, I've lined it up. You want to line up the mark with the center of the stamp and you want to give it a firm press. Okay, and then you have your first letter, P. Okay, so we're going to move on. We're going to print out the whole word. Again, you're going to line it up with the mark, give it a firm press. Oh, and see, I did it wrong because I wasn't watching where the front of the stamp was. Where the Beadsmith stamps, the front of the, the, when the letter is in the correct position, the words on the front of the stamp face forward. So there's one mistake that I can show you how not to make. Okay, watch. This, the letters are in the front. We're just going to continue on. And we're going to just say that that's the way we planned it. Okay, the A. Line everything up. Firm press. And then your C. And back to the E. We'll do the E. Let's, let's do the E the same way we did it before and make it look like it was designed that way. Sometimes mistakes are your best friend. You find some really cool ways of doing things when you make mistakes. So there you have your nice firm impressions. Okay, so after that, you're just going to want to fill in the letters. We have these paint markers here. We have them in a lot of different colors. Black being the most common. Just going to fill in your letters and let it dry momentarily. Then wipe off the excess. Okay. You want to do your stamping when your pieces are almost complete. When everything is finished, it's polished, everything is ready to go, then do your stamping last. Stamping works on handles. You know, you're going to do it the exact same way. One letter at a time. We're, we went down on this one here. 
you can do it on curved pieces just as easily very easily to do you can do them on the um, the base of forks with the fork tines and really that's all you need to do now if you want to change that out to the other side all you're going to do is loosen this screw up and you're going to take the insert out flip it around and use the other side it's just that simple